Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a bit of a different video for me. A, a few people have commented on the kind of the the figures that I actually have in the background um, that you've sort of seen in some of my videos. So I would thought I would do a, a quick video to show you what they actually are and, and to give a shout out to the person who is responsible for them. Basically the figures that you kind of see in the background of the majority of my videos are, uh, are kind of resin models that were uh, made and painted by uh, a, a girlfriend of mine. And... Um, Basically, so I'll kind of show you a little bit more detail what they are. So the majority of them are based on characters from video games. So uh, this one is is mine, and I'll, you know I'll give a shout out to uh, to Lane who actually painted all of these uh, figures, and she's also done the the artwork that you can see on my channel. Uh, but we'll kind of give you a closer look at some of these uh, some of these models. So now obviously they they come not painted. So the painting here is obviously going to be uh, just down to whoever paints it and down to you know yourselves really uh they all tend to have a couple of things in common shall we say Whoop. um but i really want to give a shout out as i say to uh to lane who who does all these paintings very very talented and actually works in a kind of industry where this is uh very important oh, so too much so anyway this one is uh my and she's i believe from the kind of King of Fighters, Fatal Fury uh, game series. Um, quite a nice resin statue. So there's that one. Uh, the next model is, uh, I think the character's name is Sophitia. And she's actually from Battle Arena to Shinden, which was one of my favourite PS1 games back uh, that when I had a PS1. So she, her kind of style is a little bit more cartoony. Um... She actually has this kind of actual rope, which is going to be this kind of whip thing. Uh, she's, you know, tiny little waist. Uh, and once again, uh, same person was responsible for the, the, the kind of the paint job on this. But like I said, if you, the, the kind of the detail is a little bit different because she's, she's a lot more of a, a, a kind of cartoony character. Just before I made this video, I accidentally broke off one of her bangs on her head. So I'm going to have to put that back on. Uh, so sorry about that, but that uh, would normally have another piece of hair that hangs down there. So I, I, you know, I like this figure because I actually really like the game. That's why um, that's why she got it for me. That is Sophie here, I think her name is. Next up, we'll have a look at Tina. Now she is from A Dead or Alive, which is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. And um, again, you'll you'll notice the theme here. Uh, so have a quick look at the face here. So this was actually the first uh, resin model that uh, that was that was painted for me, and um, really good job on the, uh, the sort of stars and stripes. That's all sort of freehand. That's not Arco Prince. That's just all freehanded painting. Obviously, this one, not huge amounts of detail. As it's pretty much mostly skin. Not that I'm complaining. Bit of a funny pose, really, because it's kind of almost uh, almost a little bit. Sort of one-sided in weight, so it kind of only sort of stands a little bit precariously. So that is Tina. And the final uh, final statue is Ivy, and she's from the uh, Soul Calibur slash Soul Blade games, and it's probably the biggest out of the out of the sort of statues that I've got. And again, props to uh, props to Lane there for doing a fantastic job on on the painting again. And as you can see, the kind of the detailing of this one, a little bit more, a little bit more to the costume. And she's actually got this uh, this kind of sword that breaks up into kind of almost like a whip thing, and that's sort of held together by um, by like a wire. Now I think you can actually get sort of pre-made statues of, of this uh, that are kind of made from just a kind of a bit of a softer kind of plastic sort of. Um, you know, rubber type material, but I'm not sure what the actual the paint job is going to be like. Like I, uh, I repeat, this one is purely custom painted, so I can't tell you that there's another one which is going to be painted exactly like this one. Anyway, thanks to everyone who uh, who inquired about these, and uh, I hope this gives you a bit of a better look and uh, once again uh, thanks to thanks to Lane for paying him and, and uh, making them for me it's very much appreciated <laughs>